The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. So last week, we looked at the reality of sin. Lesson number four from our daddy David. We said that the fact that sin is in this world is real. It is not imaginary. It is real. It is real. And that sin is a blatant revolt against God. Now, if sin reigns in your life, the life of God will be killed. And if you, through the Spirit, mortify the deeds of the flesh, then, then the life of Christ in you will grow from grace to grace. And then we said we should kind of bring our minds to the fact that sin exists. So we need to consciously build blocks of resistance against sin and evil. And then we use Joseph as an example. And though she spoke to Joseph day after day. He refused to go to bed with her. Or even be with her. That distance that he created was some kind of block of resistance. We need to know that sin is real. And that that is what God hates. And so we shouldn't joke with sin. Let us this ourselves from any appearance of evil. But when we were ending, we said this, that merely building defense blocks against sin is not enough. Sin is in the human nature. And sin is a spirit. So you can cage a spirit. Now you can raise walls against spirits. Helpful though they may be, sin is spirit. So we need to draw some strength from the mighty one. So this brings me to lesson number five. That there is a need to draw on the strength of God. Drawing on the strength of the Lord. Drawing on the strength of the law. Psalm 51 verse 10. Psalm 51 verse 10. Create in me a pure heart, O God. And renew a steadfast spirit within me. Now create in me, David, O a a pure heart. And he says, Oh God. Or he could have said that, Oh God, please create in me a pure heart. Now so no better me can say, Oh Paul Mesro, Bakuma Mutia E Mame. Oh God, renew a steadfast spirit within me. Oh Yanko Pong, yeah, home home for frass yet him a woman. Now he was well aware of the weakness of the spirit man. Now on him. His inward being, and therefore appeals to the one who is able to give him strength. That oh God, creating me a clean heart. 
otumi ma ho de ni se onyakopon ye bo akoma afofro ewo mimu david is here teaching david wa ha e chere chere that you don't overcome sin by merely being disciplined se em ye mfa ahohye so keken ko an edi bone so or being discretionary and i say wo de wo nante nyansa mu ne edi bone so no not at all there be enya no you will need the holy spirit's enablement wo be hia hohom kronkron no etumi as a spring ball se ade ye jina so because sin will make nonsense of your resolve if he said won't see i was seeing a bonnie bit to me i'm an ayakwa see resolving and being discretionary is very important and who here pa said we'll be see what green pea now ben anti nyansim but that alone is no match to the devil now so i don't want the end to me you know when some in him so when we are saying that we are talking about the reality of sin. Implicit in the knowledge of the reality of sin is the admission that Satan is real. So if we are saying that sin is real, then we are admitting that Satan is real. Because Satan is a source of all evil. If we say he is the Devil, ono oni oboni for. When we say devil, ye ka se oboni for. We are saying the supreme evil. Ye ka boni mu na mu okuni ni. So when we are say, admitting that sin is real, it is a ye jitu mu se boni wafu ampa. Then we are saying that we are also admitting that Satan is real. And then ye jitu mu se boni sam wafu ampa. See the deception of the devil. Takes many forms. But he is at his wildest best when he succeeds in convincing people that he does not exist. See, to deny Satan's reality is to expose ourselves more to his subtlety. And then now we jaw who cry according in their demo. See the devil is smart. I want someone in your son in your tea. The Bible describes him as a deceiver. Trono, a dinner who dances or your dad for. And the best way he can manage all of us is to create an impression that he doesn't exist. Now a quiet power be for so or between my you hold your manis or be my you who say only hope. And today's world. Things that God does not exist, so they they long forgot about the devil. Now and now say say we are saying no. Nipa pi edge edge adrian yon say unyame anyho. And it's not just a woman. Some day I'm going to feel no crash. Oh, many many years ago. In fear be breaking. Many years. In fear be breaking. So children of our age, they don't talk about Satan. And then my mumma one can say for born some. They don't even know that there is Satan. We name cross say boni boni for be oho. We need to teach them. I say a church one. Otherwise, every evil they do, they will say that it is a weakness, and then they will have laws to protect that kind of weakness. And yes, sir, boni biya obe ye biya obe kase aye mroye na obe pe emre bi e di abo mroye no buy. And that makes the devil very comfortable. Na eno ma bonsam na kuma toni yem pa 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 pa. One of the great English preachers, Doctor Lloyd Jones, stated his conviction on this. Clearly, and I want us to interact with it. A beautiful Lloyd, I cannot join it. I was asking me who I'm pursuing. You didn't want to come. Now, wherever you, I want you to pay attention to the screen. Now, baby, I will be on pursuing. We share in funia. Eda a TV no so. And that is the late Doctor Lloyd Jones. Now, sir, open your other hand. One, Doctor Lloyd Jones. We need to be biko. I am certain that one of the main causes of the ill state. Of the church today is the fact that the devil is being forgotten. Me jidi pa se ni ma eha asori ni se se inu mu ba kon eni se ye re fi se obon samoho. All is being attributed to us. Na bibia ye se efri ye yankasa. We have all become so psychological in our thinking and attitude. Na ye ya di ye ni na mu ni ya di ya jine eni ya di ye. We are ignorant of this great objective fact. Na sa asemwe nso ye ni hu ni mdiye. The being the existence of the devil, the adversary, the accuser, and his fiery darts. We are ignorant of that. The trouble of the church, he is saying, that we have forgotten that there is 
a devil. So if Satan is behind sin, then we need the power of God to overcome sin. Not just mere determination and building blocks of resistance. Creating me a clean heart. Oh God, creating me a new heart. And renew a rightful spirit within me. So David tells us where to find help to overcome evil. Psalm 27. Psalm 20. This is a psalm of David. Psalm 27. From verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is a stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemies and my foe who will stumble and fall. Though an army beseech me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then will I be confident. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord, and to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble, he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent. Set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At his sacred tent, I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice when I call. Be merciful to me and answer me. But he begins by saying that the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? So the strength of our life, our light and our deliverance is the Lord. That is why he says that he will make sure that you gaze at his face. He is his strength. Creating me a clean heart. And renew a right spirit within me. See Paul in Ephesians. Chapter 6. Teaches us to draw on the power of God. While we take our stance against Satan's schemes. So he teaches us to draw on the power of God. That is one. And then he also teaches us to take our stance against the devil's schemes. He assumed that the heavens were where his audience, the people he was writing to, were well aware of the fact that there is Satan. And that they were engaged in a kind of a battle with the devil. And then he teaches them to draw on the power of God. Because the Lord is the strength of their life. But he also wants them to take some stands. Because they must commit to the battle against the enemy. So it's not all about taking stands. And living the power of God. It isn't also about just drawing the power of God and not doing anything about evil. We need to combine 
combine both. Ephesians 6, verse 10. Ephesians 6, 10. Finally. Finally. Be strong in the Lord. And in his mighty power. Be strong in the Lord. Build spiritual Moses. Paul says that physical exercise profits us, but spiritual exercise is of, is of great value. Now, as for Paul say, when I'm firm up on train train, no, Edin Fasoba, now who whom firm the idea and who here pa be strong in the law. Ain't it Mahunya Ding will rather be strong in the law. Mahunya Ding will rather in his mighty power. And then you two make a seal. Then verse 11 says this. And now, and you shall do back on a say, put on, put on, you do the putting on. Monsha, Monsha, one cassa shack, put on. The full armor of God. So that you can take your stand. You can build your blocks. Against the devil. You can build your blocks. You can build your blocks. You can build your blocks. You can build your have to build your blocks. You can build your have to take your stands. You can build your blocks. You can build your if we say, Our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against authorities, against the powers of this dark world. And against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly places. Therefore, put on the full armor of God. So that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand. Stand your ground. And after you have done everything, to stand. To stand. Now, so you should know the schemes of the enemy. And then you stand. You build some resistance. But that one alone will be no match for the devil. He came on this planet before we came. We will leave him here. Other people will come and meet him. So we, we can't just by our own strength stand against his walls and schemes. We need the one who is greater than him. The power of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. See, some Christians are so self-confident that they can manage Satan by themselves without the help of God. Now, why do you want to to me Others are so self-destructful that they imagine they have nothing to contribute to the victory in spiritual warfare. Now, both are mistaken. There should be a proper combination of divine enabling and human cooperation. Creating me a clean heart. And renew a steadfast spirit. So that I'll be able to align my spirit with the promptings of the Holy Spirit. So last week I spoke a lot about building blocks of resistance. Because you have to have the consciousness that sin is real. So I spoke about Tema. The beautiful daughter of David. David Baba who never married. Something that she married. I don't want to believe that she never married. But just in that chapter, the Bible says that she lived in desolation in the brother's house. Beautiful lady. Above her fair. Now, if she is to be born on the planet Earth again. And then the father tells him that your brother is sick. Now, the papa catcher said, 
Who knew about money? Yaria, go and prepare food for him. Konwe do ane manwa. She will go with her brother Absalom. Oni ni ni Absalom ne beko. You enter the room with his brother Absalom. Oni ni ni Absalom ne beura edanu. So don't let her come back into this life to teach us lessons. You see, the Bible said that don't disturb Abraham. Moses is preaching. Today, don't disturb Tamar. I'm preaching. Don't Constant fellowship with the Spirit of God. Constant fellowship. And grow in that fellowship. Keep falling in love with him. Over and over again. As the days go by. It will grow sweeter and sweeter. As the days go by. Keep falling in love with him. See when we read Psalm 27. We ended at verse 7. And then I reserve verse 8 for this particular place now. Now verse 8, Psalm 27, verse 8. My heart says to you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. What I say, maybe she will name, ain't he? My coma say, will say, a radi. My heart longs for the Almighty God. My coma, a precious hell. So he will also let himself go. And love the one whom his heart loves. This is what I mean, the fellowship of the spirit. My heart says of you. Seek his face. Your face, Lord. I will seek. Wake up in the middle of the night. Sorry, Anajo. Pray. Wake up in the morning and pray. Sorry, Anopa Anabompire. Study the way. Meditate on scripture. Oh God. When I was growing up, what I really didn't like was all night. I didn't like uh, church all night. Because you see a lot of people sleeping. I don't like that. Uh, huh? But I attended all night. Sorry. But the best times was when I've gone to the chapel and there's nobody there in the middle of the night. Once I get there, I get so excited. So when I get there, I say, oh, Radi. I say, Lord, I have come. I have come. Maba. Come in to talk to my lover. We talk. We talk. We talk. We talk. We talk. We talk. Yekasa, we talk. Yekasa, we talk. Yekasa, 
Sometimes when I get to a crossroad, I told the brother me could do Quantanaya. I said, Lord, what do I do? I say, Radi then amenye. Especially when I was in Tamale. A brother more Tamale no. Then Kofodia. Any Kofodia. Then my phone would take crying like that. Na me tete phone be be waso crying. Test message will come on my phone. Uh, I send my eighteen team beba me tete phone so. I will read the test message. Me kind the eighteen team no. And it's exactly about what I'm thinking of. Na a ye dear me dream who no pepe pepe. So I saved that number. Iti me 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 save you number no. As angel. Say idi ame di two di ni ye obofo. Because any time that I call back, the number will not go through. It's out of coverage area. Now the beyond so say me bomb more than say me friends ah no manwa me friends who I will say enko enko kra. There was this day that once the message landed, I called and it's out of coverage area. Now the beyond oh ha a de ba kubi a bra de waiting team no a bayenwa na me friend na no man me friend so I say oniho. When I came to Kofodia, me ba Kofodia. It happened a number of times. As in prayer, who do be? But this one from a different number. Na ye die or the number for from. So I saved that one, angel too. And so me me save you. No say angel above four to sumi enu. You never know. You nim what it means to walk with the Lord. You nim say the tears say we need rade benante. Keep falling in love with Him. Do I rade? Do I rade? So the benefit is ours, not His. A home for so no buy and change any or no. He only makes you. So that it can be a factor in his hands. You make you to become a factor in his hands. It is lovely to be a friend of God. Isaiah points Israel to their strength. Isaiah at the Israel actually now don't let us be reading this particular verse and make it just a popular test in the book of Isaiah let it let us apply ourselves to it Isaiah 40 from verse 28 do you not know do you not know have you not heard? I don't want to hear. The Lord is the everlasting God. The creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary. And his un understanding, no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary. And increases the power of the weak. See, God described Israel as wem, wem. Uh, uh, we are worms. But he gives power to the weak. Even youth grow tired. And, and weary. Young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord, those who wait upon the Lord, will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Oh God. Those who wait upon the Lord, they will renew their strength. Strength to overcome evil. Those who wait upon the Lord, those who wait upon the Lord, they will renew their strength. And when Jesus wanted to build an army, even though he was living, it was still expedient for him to order them to go and wait for the strength. And when the power came, the, the Peters were transformed. Petronum was a cry. The people saw them. And then they testified. That that they have been with the Lord. Because they have now exchanged their strength with the Lord's strength. They, they see the Lord in them. They hear the Lord in their voices. They see the Lord in them. They hear the Lord in their voices. They that hope in the Lord. That wait upon the Lord, they will renew their strength. You see, when you are a believer and you keep waiting upon the Lord, 
You may be old like Simeon. Oh, but Simeon. Or an old lady like Anna. And I say, Abba, bro, I say Anna. But the strength in you is fresh. And so These are old ladies and old men that the Holy Spirit moved. Their connectivity to the Spirit has no barrier. Now, bra said I want home kron kron no ni twaka da o de home kron kron tam no na eh pampe bia ni ho are you a pastor we are so for what is your connection how what about your fellowship with the lord we ni home kron kron yon ko fa na eti say are you an elder we are sorry penny the strength of man will fail ni pa ho din be di u ha mo they that wait upon the lord and so when i will train you ready no they will only have a renewed strength we be nya ho den for from number 2 there to so be encourage corporate fellowship with believers but modern say we ni ejidi for so ebe nya hie mu once you are a believer say we ejidi ni love to be in the assembly of the brethren do say we be ko a christopher abedwem hebrews 3 verse 12 and 13 hebrew for man o etimi en san cheche mu dumie nu ani dumie sa see to it brothers and sisters mo hwe ye nianom that none of you has a sinful unbelieving heart now, that turns away from the living god na akoma bonia enyinie amamumu biara anwai enfri onyakopon ti asefo no see to it brothers and sisters see to it monhwe yiye enuanom monhwe yiye that none of you has a sinful unbelieving heart that turns away from the lord now, he's talking to christians na akoma bonia enyinie amamumu biara mu now our money and from your uncle Ponti has a phone of what should be the, the, a Christopher. What, what is the solution? Now, whom are you anything? But encourage one another daily. Nemo muntu tu mo hufu da biara. As long as it is called today. Ah, what that subodin se ene. So that none of you may be hardened by sin's deceitfulness. Na boni na da empri mo mu biara kuma. Let us get together. Let us encourage one another. As long as it is called today. So Hebrews is suggesting that if it were possible, we should meet daily. Daily. And strengthen up one another. Hebrews 10, verse 25. Not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another. And all the more as you see the day approaching. Hebrew woman, it is do in the chemo edio nunu. Na mo ma ye nya ye hu in chemo se de ebinum enya enye ne mo mo ma ye tutu ye hu ye hu efo bre dodoa mo hu se edano reben. If we deliberately keep on sinning, se ye koswa ye se ye bon ye bonia. Now, see, he's still speaking to Christians. Or kasa chere Christofo. So we can be Christians and continue in sin. Na ye betu mi a ye Christofo na so ya twaswa ye bonim. So we need the strength of the Lord. Eti ye hiye radi mu ahodin. And the assembly of the believers in the midst of the assembly of the believers, there's strength. Eti wo a Christofo ana se jidi fo bedu mu no ahodin ewo mu. See Ephesians five nineteen. Ephesofo maniti num chiche mu dunkro. In the assembly of the saints. Speaking, speaking to one another with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs from the Spirit. Sing and make music from your heart to the Lord. So when we meet together, we speak to one another through our hymns, through our psalms, through our songs, through our preaching. We strengthen one another. Colossians 3.16 Colossians 3.16 Let the message of Christ Dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom. 
through Psalm. Mm. Songs from the Spirit. Singing to God. With gratitude in your heart. What an assembly. What an assembly. When we meet and God is in our midst, we will strengthen one another. That gives us edge over evil and sin. So brothers, what we have said today, that implicit in the reality of sin is the reality of Satan. Because Satan is behind sin, if we say, merely building blocks of resistance is not enough. We need to employ his master, the Holy Spirit, to deal with him. Dr. Lloyd Jones is saying Dr. that. Lloyd, I say, the problem of today's church I'm sorry how say, say, no. is the fact that the devil has been forgotten. And say, mm -hmm. Let us rise to the fact that the devil is Mama, yeah, sorry, yeah, so and home. he is behind evil. Now, no, 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 but the Lord is the strength of our lives. So, when we wait upon him say, yeah, try, no. he will give us strength. Oh, man, yeah, so finally and, yeah, no, be, no, be strong in the Lord. Mama, yeah, be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. In the Lord and in his mighty power, and in his mighty power, and still put on the full armor so you can stand. So we need God's strength, and we need also to build some blocks of resistance. A combination of the two. Oh, help us tower again over sin and evil. So God bless all of us.